This is Linda Duffy with the Avalon Free Public Library. Today I'm going to be speaking with John Thorne. He will be here at the Avalon Free Public Library on Wednesday, July 9th at 7 p.m. Good afternoon, John. Hey, Linda. Your lecture is going to be held in the multipurpose room on that Wednesday, July 9th at 7. And you are a sports author and you've written between 65 and 70 books beginning in 1974. Is that correct? Yes, I'm not very good, but I am prolific. How did you become interested in baseball history? Well, it goes back to the flipping cards in the street corner of the Bronx when I was four and five years old. I learned to read off the backs of baseball cards and the backs of cereal boxes. So as an immigrant to this country, I quickly caught on that baseball was the language that everybody spoke, and it became my, uh, my visa to becoming an ordinary kid. And in addition to being a sports author, can you tell us what your current position is with Major League Baseball? I'm the official historian for Major League Baseball, and the commissioner appointed me uh, in March of 2011. I am the second such appointee. My predecessor was Jerome Holtzman, the Chicago sports writer and inventor of the statistic called the save for relief pitchers. Now, Jerome, uh, I believe, was appointed in 1999 and died in office in 2008, so there was something of a hiatus between his term and mine. Why do you feel that the position is important to sports fans? I think baseball is the sport of history, in a way that basketball and football and hockey are not. Perhaps golf is, perhaps cricket is, but no other major American sport employs a historian on its staff. I think baseball is unique in this regard because uh, the ghosts cavort on the field alongside today's players at every moment. The record book counts. So when you come on Wednesday, July 9th at 7 here to the Avalon Library, what will you be talking about that evening? I will be talking about the level playing field that baseball provides for outsiders of all sorts, whether it's ethnicity or skin color or creed, or gender, or sexual orientation. I think baseball is the great leveler. And uh, in a way, it's always been in advance of America, even in racial integration. Jackie Robinson broke into uh, baseball in 1947, which was seven years before Brown v. Board of Education. Jackie Robinson, you mentioned. Can you give me some other examples of baseball outsiders? Well, there are waves of baseball outsiders. Jews have been outsiders. Italians have been outsiders. Irish have been outsiders. Asians, certainly. And uh, that oddly termed minority, women, who are in fact a numerical majority. But while we have had three women play in the Negro Leagues, we have yet to have a woman major league baseball player. I think it is not impossible that we will see it in our lifetimes. Well, obviously, I'd like to see that. Will you have photos with you that evening? I'll have a PowerPoint presentation with uh, photos that pretty well illustrate the, uh, uh, the march of acceptance, because baseball has been the, the leveler. I think it's been a beacon. Uh, meritocracy is the, um, the goal promised to us by the Constitution, though not using that particular word. And I think it is increasingly in evidence in society at large, but nowhere as much as in baseball. Oh, that sounds like an interesting presentation. And I believe you will be offering your latest book, Baseball in the Garden of Eden, The Secret History of the Early Game, for sale that evening? I'll bring a box of books with me, so I'll have maybe 20. That may be enough to satisfy everyone, or maybe more than <laughs> is needed to satisfy everyone. The book came out in 2011 and is now in paperback, but I'll probably be bringing hardcovers only. Baseball in the Garden of Eden is a study of how baseball began and how rival factions tried to take hold of the creation myth and lie about baseball's beginnings in ways that suited particular organizations. It's a very twisty and uh, sinister tale. Great. We'll have a lot of interest in that in the lecture. Can people who want to explore the topic of John Thorne find different information on the Internet? Oh, yeah. I mean, just Google John Thorne and baseball, and my guess is you'll get 50,000-plus entries. I haven't even looked at it lately. But you can certainly look at my blog. I write twice weekly for Major League Baseball, 
So go to ourgame.mlblogs.com or just Google Our Game John Thorne. I think I posted 250 separate entries there over the last three years. Okay, I'll take a look at that myself. And I wanted to thank you for joining me today, John, to promote your lecture on Wednesday, July 9th at 7. It's at the Multipurpose Room at the elementary school adjacent to the library. And we look forward to your lecture. I look forward to being with you, Linda. Thank you.